26 years female presented with sudden decrease of vision for two days. On presentation her best corrected visual acuity was counting fingers at 3 meters. Fundus examination revealed two separate mounds of pre-retinal hemorrhage. One involving the center of macula and the other inferior to the optic disc. An unusual membranous structure was seen within the central preretinal hemorrhage at its superior border. Areas of vascular sheathing were also seen involving vessels in the midperipheral retina. Fluorescein and geography showed blocked fluorescence due to preretinal hemorrhage. No signs of inflammation were seen in the areas of vascular sheathing. Patient was put on conservative management. Two months later, the preretinal hemorrhage had decreased but the visual acuity remained low. The membranous structure was still visible in the same area. At this stage, patient underwent three-port pass planar vitrectomy. PVD was induced using vitrectomy cutter. Vitrectomy without base excision was done. Greenish hue of the vitreous is because of staining due to fluorescein and geography done one day previously. ILM was stained using brilliant blue dye. ILM peeling was done using peeling forceps and ILM was removed from the top of hemorrhage. After removal of ILM another unusual blood stained layer was seen and was peeled off from the retinal surface. This layer was easily chewed by the vitrectomy cutter. Remaining blood was washed away by the active suction of cutter. The inferior preretinal hemorrhage was also cleared. Six weeks post-operative, the best corrected visual acuity was 6 by 6, but the mystery of the membrane still remains. Probably, should have removed the membrane in toto and sent it for histopathology.